Hello, hello, hello. My name is Ben Garvis. I own Ben Garvis Photography, and I wanted to take some time today to introduce you to all of the gear that I have available for events and photography and videography for 2024. It's a long list, so we're just going to power through this. I want to show you, first of all, my pride and joy. This is my FX30 cinema rig. Uh, I have a V-mount battery. This thing will last for days. Uh, we have a great monitor on top for real-time monitoring. I have a number of these cinema lenses with a pro-grade matte box and a shotgun mic all ported directly in. And uh, one of the things that you can see pretty frequently with event photographers and videographers, especially when you're kind of introducing your brand or you're di dipping your toes into the water of a premium grade um, hire for your events is that they will use something like a hybrid camera that does both photography and video. I tend to use this when I'm doing videography and the hybrid I use a lot more for specifically photography events. We'll jump into that. This is an A7 IV, one of the top of the line uh, cameras that you can get at the pro prosumer grade level. Um, it does 40 some megapixels uh, when you do professional photography. The megapixel levels that you see that are like 100 plus for things like phones sometimes come down because you get a lot better um, lighting and things with these cameras. It does 4K video just like that. Um, that, by the way, does 4K, uh, 4K 120. So if you wanted some really smooth slow motion shots, we can do that. It actually does. 1080 to 40, which is ultra, ultra low, uh, ultra slow, slow motion. This is what I'm doing, what I'm using for the majority of my uh, photo shoots. It's also important when you're doing this to have a backup, especially because a lot of these things only happen once. Um, for a backup, I'm using a uh, Sony a6000, which is kind of a gateway drug into cameras like those. But I always do have this on me as a backup just in case something happens. Let me show you a couple of the lenses that I'm using. Um, so when we're talking something big and crazy, I usually use this for wildlife, but this is a 600 uh, millimeter telephoto uh, made by Sigma that I use more for outdoor stuff or distance shots. It kind of provides a little bit of a different experience. It's a good backup when you need to do something from far away, uh, but typically not bring that to uh, professional things. I do have a 300 millimeter, which is about half the zoom distance as that, but this is the pride and joy. This is widely considered one of the best professional lenses in the history of humankind. It is a Sony G Master line, uh, 24 to 70 millimeter. This is typically what I would use for any brand photo shoot, any uh, event, uh, any uh, portraits. Um, at the same time, when it comes to larger groups, this is a, uh, what's your middle? I believe you are a, yes, 15 millimeter um, ultra wide. So this is a great way to get large team photos or uh, panoramas of events. Um, really high quality. It's not the G master quality, but it is the G quality, which is kind of the gateway into uh, those really high quality lenses. Now, I, uh, it's not, not uncommon for uh, people to want to do things that are a little more damaging to cameras. I do have two GoPros for that occasion, uh, one that operates in 1080p, the other one that does four full, K, for full 4K. So I have that as an option for people that want to do something that involves water, do something that involves dropping. I have those options available. Uh, some of the other things that you don't see people talk about very often, oh, just to have a, a secondary uh, cinema lens. This is a 25 millimeter, uh, really great for really good out of focus backgrounds, but in focus uh, targets. Um, one of the things people don't think about very often is audio. I carry two of these everywhere that I go. These are Zoom mobile audio recorders. You can see they have microphones up top, but they also can plug in some shotgun microphones like this one. This is a great way for me to put points out around uh, a location and get great audio from multiple places. The other thing is when you're doing something like a wedding, I like to bring these. These are DJI uh, mobile wireless recorders. Uh, so you can see this implemented in two ways. You might see this on YouTube already. 
Uh, you can just attach it to your lapel as is if you want something a little more low profile. I have a number of these lapel mics that just thread a cord down and this is just a little unit I can attach to you. So if you're a bride, a groom, an officiant, we can get really great audio of what's happening right there. Use one of the mobile recorders as a backup and just guarantee that we have a pretty fail safe way to get the vows um, or audio for any recording or brand video. Um, I do have multiple of these shotgun mics. They can be mounted at the top of any one of these cameras. And I think another really important thing that people don't think about when they're, when they're talking to photographers or videographers for the first time is the availability of gimbals. These are really great tools for stabilizing your shots in real time, not so much for photography, but definitely for videography. If you're trying to get really smooth video and you're moving around, these guys, the camera mounts right on it. You can carry it around and it keeps everything nice and smooth and still despite running around. You're not seeing footsteps or shakiness at all. Um, this is a little more lightweight, targets a little more mobile devices, but it is an option. We talked through this. I do have the ability to convert my hybrid camera over to focusing more on video, secondary monitor for that, but it also has its own small little rig like you saw here with the big one. And the other thing people don't talk about much is batteries. I have like 15 of these. I could shoot potentially for almost an entire week without recharging any of the batteries or cameras throughout my, my gear line. And that's it. That's everything short of lighting uh, that I am bringing to any one of my events, any studio shoot, any corporate uh, recording, any wedding, any engagement photo session, anything that I'm doing in 2024. This is what I'm bringing for you.